Well, you can't moan very much about... I mean, the first book uh, actually sold 1.2 million copies, so there are no mo there's no moaning there. I didn't know that. About that. Didn't you? No. Have you not seen any money? I've had no award or anything. That's a lot of books. <laughs> that isn't is it? a lot of books. Why is no 1.2 million? Yeah. Apparently, yeah. Well, you don't know that. How come they're not oh, really that? Congratulations. He's happy. smiling. <laughs> God. <laughs> and then well uh, and there's more moaning now. And I, yeah. I love the fact that you've actually written more books than you've read. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't... I mean, I'm not proud of that. Um, it's just... Uh, it's hard. It, it, I, I sort of... Uh, can't just switch off. There's always something else to do. Mm. And I think it's got worse in the world, hasn't it, for that, with people on Twitter yes. or watching clips and watching telly on demand and all that. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how many will what you know buy this. You say the last one did 1.2 million or whatever. I think the world's changed, hasn't it? No one's picking up books, I don't think. Oh no, I think they do. Do they? No, yeah, you, totally. You, you could probably get it on a Kindle. You know, then yeah, you yeah it is available on Kindle. Yeah, well there you are, you see. <laughs> <laughs> but your researcher, uh, Vicky, she liked it. She's not a book reader and she gave it four out of five that one. Oh well that's she? good. And she doesn't read books, so, and I think that's what I aim at. People who it's not heavy. <laughs> There's not big words in it. <laughs> it's it's interesting. Lots of pictures. Lot a few pictures. No, 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 it's not a picture book, Phil. Are you saying it as if it's Mr. Men? <laughs> it's it's got pictures to sort of show you the people who are meeting that. But yeah. I'm happy with it. About 120,000 words. Well done. And you've all written yourself. All and it is. Yes. Can I say that? I sat there. It took about seven or eight months. Uh, and like I say, because I'm I'm not even good at reading books. So writing them is even harder because there's always something else I want to be doing. Mm. He was changing the water in the hot tub last week and <laughs> um, there's always jobs like that, little jobs. I go, I'll just do that today. Or nosing out the window. If you hear a noise, my ears can't just leave things. I'm a bit like, what's, what's going on? <laughs> I'm a bit neighbour, you know, uh, neighbourhood watch. The book is, it's got, it's set to sort of different subjects yeah. of your travels around the world and things you've seen and yeah. things you've experienced. Yeah. Um, one of what we mentioned there in, in your introduction was the fact that at one point you dressed as a, as a female. And this was when you met Rob, wasn't it? And Rob. he was a female impersonator. Well, yeah. But and yeah, how did it you was feel? Good. good. I it's probably the furthest... I've ever been away from myself, if you know what I mean. Right. When I was walking out, I, I did feel different. I know it's only a rubber suit, mm -hmm. but I even had more interest in the clothes that I wore. Like, now, I, I, I really took an interest in it. And I think well, I, I nailed it. You see people like Eddie Izzard dressed up as a woman, you go, that's, that's rubbish, that. Or Grayson <laughs> Perry. You know, he, he, very odd sort of mix they go for. Well, very that, artistic. Just, just... But weird, sort of a weird mix where I, I think I got the colours right. I, I wasn't tarty. It was like a long skirt I went for. And you plim embraced soles. it. You should it was come really to our fashion item one day. I'm, I tell you, if it's women's clothing, I'm 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 into it, which I never thought I'd say. <laughs> but it, I really enjoyed it, and that's what I like about. Well, you said to take it off, Carl. I kept it on longer than I needed to. <laughs> Honestly, on the day they were like, right, wrap it up, and I was going, well, there's no rush. Let's just have a, have a bit of a walk in it. I think I just felt... I've been me for 43 years, so suddenly I was Carla for and a couple did, of hours. Did the hair give you the same effect? Because you went to Atlanta it. and you had... Yeah. Gl gl they, did they glue it on? Proper glue it on, yeah. And there you are. I mean, that does not look like you. No, but, again, that, that doesn't look as good as it looked there. That's not a great picture. But it was good. It was amazing. Uh, good to have air again. Didn't realise how much I'd missed having air. Well, you describe your hair as pointless. My real hair was. Yeah, it was very fine, very flimsy. You could do nothing with it. And, um, but I don't know if it was a good thing getting the wig again, because it did make me realise that... But you could, if you wanted to, it. you could, you could do well, something... People would know now, will not they? But does it matter? What, if people know it's not real? Yeah. No, you could you have the plugs or and the to, implants yeah. or all that sort of stuff. You could do something about it if you wanted to. I don't... I, well, my girlfriend wasn't that bothered in the end. It, I think it was just annoying, cos I have... I think what annoys me more with the baldness thing is I've got loads of air on my body. Right. <laughs> if you strip me down now, you'd be like, what, what's going on? I've got it from the toes up to the ears and it's just ran out where I wanted it most. <laughs> and it's just... Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I don't think I'd ever go... I don't think I want implants or anything. It's not that important. <laughs> yeah. Harvey Street got in touch after, like, seeing how happy I was with it and saying, look, come and have it done. But... I don't really? know. Yeah. I mean, they really... It was it Samson who cut his hair and he felt mm. weak. Mm. For me, it was the other way round. It was like, I got hair and I was like, I, I am like the man. The man. Yeah. What about, um, what about some of the other things? What about uh, the, the guy that drank his own wee? 
something Because you drank your own weed, didn't you? I, I had a little bit, yeah. It's a lad in India believes that it's the answer to, to everything, sorts out all your body problems. Um, good. He washes in it, brushes oh his God. teeth in Did it. Did he smell of it? Do you know, he didn't. And I think what it is, right, because he wants his pee to sort of taste nice, he eats a lot of fruit. Right. Because then it, it's got a bit of a taint Because most doctors would say the reason you, you wee it out is a very good reason. You, don't, you definitely don't want that anymore. But I think because he knows he's going to drink it, he's looking after himself more. But so he's, he's saved, drinking more. But he more. saves it. He has old Yeah, weight. that was a bit grim, wasn't it? He had, like, proper thick, gloopy stuff. No, he didn't. For, and what did he do He'd had it? for months. It was for more serious stuff. So, like, if he had a burn, a bit of sunburn, he gets out these jars and, honestly, he took the lid off it and I've never... At 43 years I've been on this planet, I have never smelled anything oh. so rank in my life. For more of this morning's funniest moments, click here and subscribe so that you never miss out. Is it you, Gino? Are you the next Bond? Eh, uh, you never know. You never know. <laughs> yes, we do. Uh, <laughs> oh, Cheryl, we like a bit of Shezza on this show. She's got a tattoo on a boot. <laughs> on, 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 <laughs> on a boot? On a boot? On a boot. Kind of in the cleavage bit. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. All right, well, we'll talk about that then. <laughs>